Yeah, this is a big week for us, not just because it's Oregon week and we're playing on Thursday night. This is a, a game that we're honoring, you know, the ideal Sun Devil and Pat Tillman and, and what we're wearing on our, on our jerseys and the tribute to the military. Um, is going to be it's going to be a special night Thursday night. Uh, we're excited to be back in, into a live situation where we're playing this week. You know, bye week was was great to rest and, and get extra film do, uh, film done. But you know, we're really excited about our matchup Thursday night. And just a special congratulations to my roommate uh, Jordan Smoney being on the semifinalist for the Jim Thorpe watch list. Something that you know he 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 idolizes what every single Sun Devil is, and that's just a hard worker, and it shows on the field. Mike, I just want to get your thoughts because of the offensive capabilities of both teams and how both teams are, are are susceptible to giving up some points. Does this game Thursday night have the ability to be a shootout? Well, I mean, this is this is an incredible conference where anything can happen on any day. But what we what we have to focus on is Thursday night and going out there and playing our game. Uh, Oregon has some talent on both sides of the football. But specifically, you know, the mission is simple to win the turnover ratio, not turn the ball over, um, get turnovers on defense and uh, play hard special teams like we have all year. So if it's a shootout, it's a shootout as long as, you know, we just want to be one step ahead. They're very, like I just said, they're a very talented football team. They're very opportunistic in their secondary. They've got athletes everywhere. Um, they've got, uh, they've got a good, uh, uh, they've just been playing hard while watching them on film. They, they make plays as simple as that. So we'll be, uh, We'll be ready. We'll be excited. Our offensive line is excited for the matchup. Our, our you know, wideouts, running backs, tight end, we're, we're going to be geared up. We've gotten a lot of rest, and uh, it's time to go. Mike, it seems like if there's one player on the offense that kind of flies under the radar all the time, it's, it's V. Uh, we, you just don't hear a whole lot about him. What, what does he bring to that unit? What V brings is experience. I think he's, he's got the longest tenure of anybody on this, on this offensive football unit. He... Uh, He's just been there before. That's how you, how, how you can explain V. Um, he's an extremely smart football player. He prepares, you know, the best of any of the linemen you could say. I mean, he just knows what, you know, he knows how to prepare, whether it be mentally, physically, film study, and he's just a leader for the offensive line. And he's just, you know, he's just someone that as a quarterback, it just gives you confidence to have a guy like that on the offensive line. Mike, Coach Graham says, keep saying the offense is still operating too slow. How, how do you solve that problem? Well, I think it can never be it can never be fast enough. I think when you start going fast, it can go faster. That's just that's just the fun part about being in the tempo. And uh, we've got guys getting lined up. It all starts with setting your feet and just having a sense of urgency. It's it's a self discipline self self you know so, you know sense of urgency. You can't have people yelling at you to line up. It's got to be within yourself. And I think that we got that accomplished this bye week and uh, heading into this week. Mike, has there been any talk about the last time Oregon came here and these two teams played at Sun Devil Stadium? You know, it's funny because we got it's. It feels like uh, light years away. We got some pretty young guys that uh, who might be playing, but they're still you know fresh to being a Sun Devil. Say so they might not even remember that type of game. But for the for the few that are still here, we do remember that game. We have a little bitterness in our mouth the last time that they came here and they took care of business against us. But it's just exciting to know that we're playing against such a quality opponent who has achieved some of the goals that we want to achieve. And uh, it's just going to be a fun night.